Back in 1999, Bruce Timm, Paul Dini and Alan Barnett decided to capitalise on the success of probably the greatest superhero show to hit our screens, Batman the Animated Series. With a whole new take on Gotham and some of its most famous residents with Batman Beyond. Set in a renamed Neo Gotham in the year 2039, it kept the same darker tone with a fresh new hero and Batman in Terry McGuinness. But while we got to find out the fates of established Dark Knight allies such as Barbara Gordon, Tim Drake and Superman, we never found out what happened to Bruce Wayne's most iconic partner in fighting crime, Dick Grayson. There were hints here and there. Dick finally got fed up living in Batman's shadow. He decided to leave. He was hurt when I chose to stay behind with Bruce. But no appearances in the series or definitive information on the original Robin. So what happened to the former Boy Wonder in the future? Just a warning, there are some spoilers for the current Batman Beyond comic book series ahead from issue 25. So if you're catching up, hurry up and then come on back. As far as the animated series goes, in the new Batman Adventures we witness Bruce and Dick's falling out in the terrific episode Old Wounds, due to Dick maturing and wanting to move out of Batman's shadow. Along with the breakdown of his romantic relationship with Barbara, which caused him to move away from Gotham to Bloodhaven, and become Nightwing. Down the line in the Batman Beyond 2.0 comic book however, we find out that a short while after Dick's departure, he returns and even mends things with Barbara. But things take a turn when it's revealed that she's pregnant with Bruce's child. Yep. Needless to say, Dick doesn't take the news well, and after a scrap in the streets, it's suggested that Barbara suffers a miscarriage. So really, it's no shock that this turbulent and dark past with the two isn't brought up with McGuinness in the later show. It would also explain why he failed to appear at all. But then, in a 2010 Batman Beyond comic book miniseries, it's revealed that Dick Grayson gave up the mantle of Nightwing years ago after a brutal fight with the Joker, where he received a bullet to the spine and lost his right eye. We also find out that a now bitter Dick is still alive and operates an athletics training course after Terry pays him a visit. In the same storyline, it's revealed that a newly returned Hush is in fact a clone of Grayson, created by Amanda Waller, we wanted to use him as backup just in case anything happened to Bruce Wayne, but he loses his mind and takes up the identity of Hush. So here's where things get a bit muddled. In 2014, DC, under the new 52 banner, brought out the miniseries called Future's End, and in 2015, Convergence, where timelines and universes were altered and the new 52 branding was dropped. So after this, it wasn't particularly clear what was going on with Dick. That was until issue 25 of the current Batman Beyond comic book series. In this special issue, we saw Bruce celebrate the 100th birthday of his father, Thomas Wayne, which even included a visit from his original protege, Dick Grayson. In the same issue, we find out that he's stuck around in Bloodhaven and become its mayor. So while he now might not have such a traumatic battle with Joker where he lost an eye, he still decided to give up the Nightwing mantle in his older age and instead help the world by entering politics. He also now has a daughter named Eleanor, although her mother has still not been revealed just yet. So there you have it. That's what Dick Grayson was up to during the Batman Beyond era in 2039. He's had a hard time and plenty of struggles but come through as a mayor. So congrats. Please like and subscribe for weekly videos on the way. Cheers for watching.